today we're gonna take a deep dive into the birth of Slim Shady. <laughs> I don't know why I always do that. I just get into a vibe, I get into my bag, I lose myself. Eh. Stay tuned, it's gonna be a doozy. Hold on, let me get it on now. Let me get it right now. Make sure we, I mean, be where we need to be. And guess who's been at? Still smell it all on my clothes. And today, I bring you another classic review. And because I know so many of y'all are such big fans and I haven't done in like four videos, I wanted to really break down the birth, or where I think, or the the birth, the public birth of Slim Shady. Yeah, we've reviewed a lot of Eminem songs, but why don't we review the first Eminem single? The first Eminem, well, important one. My name is. Yeah, I'm gonna give y'all time to take that in. They taking it in? Did they take it in? Did they pass out? I'm sure some of them passed out. Eminem, my name is off of uh, his first project, or was it his second project? It doesn't matter. But um, this song, man, I remember when this came out. This came out in 1999, the video at least. I remember when it premiered on TRL, and I remember uh, after hearing it, even though I was stupid young, I was like, oh yeah, things are different now. Things are not the same. There is, it's no longer uh, this Eminem guy. Uh, 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 hold on. This Eminem guy is gonna be a problem here. I mean, for, for a few years. And I remember this, he was one of the most controversial figures of the time, period. I remember in elementary school, I watched a kid after school, mind you, after school, a teacher pulls him to the side as he's walking home and asks him what he's listening to. He says Eminem. They suspend him. Yeah, that's how, cra <laughs> how crazy it was. I remember. Um, so I was like, why does this person have so much power? And that kind of made me more interested in listening to him. So to those teachers, the plan backfired. We gonna do Eminem's My Name is the Birth of Slim Shady. But before I start, first I gotta make sure the camera's still filming. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. And we're gonna do the lyrical breakdown too. They're probably like, yo, screw, just go in. Go in. But nah, we ain't gonna just go in. We ain't gonna just go in. On the kind of thing, I need y'all to hit that like button. Un, du, twa. You got to charge it up. Falcon Punch. All right, good. Eminem, my name is. We're going to listen to it, and then we're going to do the uh, breakdown of it. And, yeah, I'm I'm doing the clean version. This was back when clean versions and dirty versions were two completely different songs. So here we <laughs> get it. This is one of the most, I remember this hook. This is one of the most dope and annoying hooks at the same exact time. I didn't know what to think when I saw this video because I was like, what? What am I watching right now? He was like, you know what M was like? M was like, and I feel like he came out or he blew up around the same time as South Park. And I feel like early M was like audio South Park. He even did the Mr. Mackey, the mm, drugs are bad, okay? He even did that, so you could tell. And he did Cartman a lot and had a Kenny 
punchline, so you could tell he was watching uh, South Park. Okay. Mm. One exactly like I did. Try saving, get effed up, worst of my life is. Yep, that's what he said. Which Spice Girl. <laughs> and this is back when the Spice Girls were like the biggest female group in the universe. The universe. So him saying that, I know some of y'all probably clicked out here like, what is a Spice Girl? But, damn, am I old? Damn, anyway, but, um, yeah, so when he said that, it was pretty crazy. Then Dr. J is just, uh, here we go. Ooh, a bass head. Oh, fire. Oh. Oh. Rick Pamela Lee. I'm going to just put it this way. In case you've never heard the uncensored version, he doesn't say lips. Faster than the fat man. Talk your talk. Talk that self deprecative ish. <laughs> My bad. I'm going to have to keep pausing in between this. But to me, right here, Eminem was like a shock jock radio host. He's like Opie and Anthony. It really was. And the fact that he was getting a co sign from Dr. Dre, I remember all of this. I remember when people were like, yo, have you heard of Dr. Dre's new artist? He signed this white boy from Detroit, man. He's dope. It's crazy. My name is and he has a lot of jabs at pop culture here. And that's a formula that he uses, and we know he uses for the rest of his career. But there is nothing like the first time he did it. There is nothing like the first time. And this was a crazy time, too. 1998, 1999, 2000. There's some, there's some crazy years. We had some, I mean, presidents in office doing things they shouldn't be doing, even though that's, we, should, we still do. Wow. This is making me a lot more depressed than, than it should be. We haven't changed at all, America. My name is This is why we need Slim Shady back. My name is so dope. And it's crazy because he was playing, he was making fun of a lot of 90s like commercials and shows. One of the front me and Junior on the uncensored version is completely different. Mm. With an eraser, chase him with a staple, and stumble it on a piece of paper. <laughs> okay. Mm. <laughs> Let's just be friends. It's so funny because none of these bars are even like. I just realized that this song is, I mean, I didn't just realize it, but this song is not meant to make Eminem look cool at all. This, in fact, this song is meant to make him look like a complete douche. This is like self-deprecating comedy and humor turned up to the max. And I don't think people have had ever seen that in hip hop because what we do is we try to show you how cool we are and the fact that this random white boy with blonde hair jumps out of nowhere and just starts talking about how uncool he is and how messed up his life is, it's fire. I've been lied to. I just found out my mom does more dope than I do. I told her I'd grow up to be a famous rapper. About doing her name after her. You know you blew up when the women rush and stand. Facts. Like some screaming usher fans. That's my audience. Yeah, this is facts too. Thanks for the support. Chicka Chicky Slim Shady. My name is. My name is. My name is. My name is. Oh, what a time. The late 90s. When Carson Daly used to move the culture. Stop the tape. This kid needs to be locked away. Dr. Dre, don't just stand there. Operate. Oh, oh. I always thought that was a fireball. Oh. I can barely just drop. I just freaking fake a fake of vodka. Dare me to drive? Ah, they censored out the dare me to drive part. What do y'all think would happen if... That's the... Here's the thing that's weird to me. As someone who grew up knowing this or watching this, that's why the Revival album or what he was like, this freestyle against Donald Trump, 
was just so light. Cause it's like, fam, I've seen you when you really had passion on something, go in. Like go in, go in. So anything less than what you've done before feels like you're pulling back. And I know we shouldn't expect that from you, but at the same time, you set the precedent. You came out talking about, I just drank a fifth of vodka, dare me to drive, talking about my palms too hairy to hide, talking about your moms, talking about the Clinton. Come on, bro, you, we need more from you. When I caught anything in the walk, when I was little, I used to get bits. How, How you, you gonna breastfeed me, mom? You ain't got no. I'm in open the bed. Pull the proof vest on and tap myself in the head. This is crazy. He was a satirist. My name is. My name is. We gonna end it right there, but uh, yeah, he was a satirist. He was a stand-up comic. Um, that's word to the wave cap, man. What do y'all think? Do we need this M back Slim Shady? Looks like on the Chloroseptic remix, we kind of got it. Oh yeah. <laughs> Almost forgot we need to do the lyrical. Do we need to do a lyrical breakdown? Hold on, let me see. Nah, we been here too. I mean, let me. I'll do the first verse, bro. I'll do the first verse. Matter of fact, I'll do the first verse and I'll do the dirty version. Uh, hold on, pulling up. Nah, I ain't gonna edit this out because you know what I mean. We keep it. We keep it. I'm gonna do the uncut version just so you know why I couldn't play the entire song. <clears throat> Cause it's pretty vulgar and uh, we're trying to keep it family friendly. So YouTube lets me actually get paid for my work. Here we go. Verse one. Hi kids. Do you like violence? It's not Primus. Want to see me stick nine inch nails to each one of my eyelids? Now that's a, that's a bar. Nine inch nails, the group, nine inch. Okay, cool. Want to copy me and do exactly as I did? Try, sit, and get effed up. Worst of my life is... Oh, that rhyme pattern. My brain's dead weight. I'm trying to get my head straight, but I can't figure out which Spice Girl I want to impregnate. And Dr. J said, Slim Shady, you a bass head. Nuh-uh. So why is your face red? Man, you wasted. This is back when he was a proud junkie. But, um... Well, since a, and this is this is this is the prime reason why I had to play the clean version in today's YouTube. Listen, I said, uh, well, since age twelve, I felt like I was someone else because I hung my original self from the top bunk with his belt. <laughs> yeah, that's a uh, old M right there, but uh, still family friendly. Uh, got pissed off, ripped Pamela Lee's off, smacked her and said, smacked her so hard I knock her clothes backwards like crisscross. I don't know why they haven't to that. I smoke a fat pound of grass and fall on my ass faster than a fat man who sat down too fast. Come on. Come here, uh, Shady, wait a minute. That's my girl, dog. I don't give a, Dre sent me to piss the world off. So maybe I kind of, maybe I can't see why kids were getting suspended. No, <laughs> I'm playing. Um, shout out to the teachers who were uh, suspending kids for listening to Eminem. That's, that's, that's that worked, right? Because nobody listens to Eminem anymore. So like, comment, subscribe, put... Uh, in the comment section, the next screw OG classic review you want me to do. But make sure you put hashtag SFJ Nation in it, because if you don't, pfft, did you even leave a comment? My name is Screw. Pretty freaking awesome. But I wouldn't be nothing without the SFJ Nation. And I love you! Pardon my beak. This to the haters, but pardon my beak. Shrugs the showed. Blatant disrespect that does the doges. Eyes. Shout out to URLTV.TV. Shout out to Smack. Shout out to Queen's Flip. Shout out to Jay Black. I don't know why I'm whispering. <laughs>
<laughs> but I always like to do random, random shout outs of people in battle rap at the end of my videos. So maybe y'all could be like, yo, you should review a battle. And we're going to take this to a whole nother level. My name is Screw. I'm pretty freaking awesome. And I love you.